Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay and today I'm going to be discussing how to select a coding bootcamp. So for those of you who don't know, a coding bootcamp is essentially a, usually a 12 to 16 week course and it's designed to give you the skills that you need in order to take your first step as a junior developer. So I'm going to go through five things that you need to look out for when selecting a coding bootcamp. Now, whenever we look at spending any kind of money online, we instinctively look at reviews. And the danger of that is a lot of these boot camps, they'll have a requirement for their participants who have just finished in, to write a review for them. So when you look at reviews and you see, say, a boot camp has, you know, 10 million reviews and another one has like a thousand reviews, it doesn't necessarily mean one is better than the other. It could just mean the one with a million or 10 million or whatever that's been around for a lot longer and it's probably got a large intake of participants. So my advice is if there's a boot camp that really stands out to you, is to go on LinkedIn and just search up that bootcamp and usually you find people who have attended that bootcamp and just drop a message to a handful of them just so you can get a good idea of the general opinion that people have of this bootcamp. And generally when people are talking one-on-one -on -one to you, they're a lot more honest rather than if their opinion is publicly displayed on a forum. So step two is curriculum. Now, if you're not really um, experience with coding and you haven't networked a lot with developers then it's quite hard to know what to look for in a curriculum so I would say go for a curriculum that has both front-end and back-end development even if you know that oh I want to go in front-end or I want to go in back-end make sure that you still learn the basics of both ensure that there's a decent coverage of databases um, database management is really really important regardless of which role you're in and also ensure that there's a good element of team projects. So this is really important, especially with employers, um, which is why they like hiring so much from boot camps. Is a lot of boot camps they have um, a lot of early introduction to working in agile teams, um, working with those sort of agile processes. So ensure that there's, if it's say a 12 week boot camp, at least three to four um, sort of group projects that you can work in and kind of add to your portfolio as well. Number three is their network. So a lot of boot camps, they do tend to um, show off what kind of um, employers they're working with, what the network looks like. So obviously by convention, if you go for a boot camp that has a really strong network of hiring partners, then that really boosts up your chances. Because a lot of times these hiring partners, they'll hire exclusively from these boot camps, as in they'll reserve a couple of spots for boot camps graduates from this specific boot camp. So definitely look at their network. Um, a good way is to speak to their careers team, ask them what kind of hiring partners they usually work with and speak to alumni as well. So again, go back to LinkedIn, look at people who've probably done that bootcamp and just reach out to them and ask them what kind of um, hiring partners that bootcamp works with. Step number four is price. Now, this is a really important one because you generally see some boot camps with prices ranging anywhere between £2,000 British pounds and some up to, you know, £10,000. So you need to ask yourself, why is there such a big difference? And I like to believe that you get what you pay for. So what you should do is, again, look at why they're charging you so much. Ask people who have done the boot camp before. Um, but I know that the boot camp that I did, um, part of the reason is they invest some of your money into contracting a third partner company. So this company, they have senior developers that essentially do one-to-one -one, um, tech tests with you. They'll write you feedback, they'll send you that feedback, and then you can do the te um, reviews multiple times with them. So I know some of your um, tuition fees goes towards that. Um, obviously, there's also um, all of the one-to-one -one contact time. Some boot camps, they have very limited one-to-one -one contact time. The one that I did, they had quite a fair amount of one-to-one -one contact time. Um, and also some of the money covers um, equipment rental as well. So I know the bootcamp that I did, um, you would get, you know, a MacBook, all the equipment, um, everything that you needed. Um, and I would say that money was generally fairly well spent. Um, I know because of the pandemic, a lot of bootcamps have gone fully remote and they have adjusted their prices. So I think the bootcamp that I did, they've dropped their prices by around about £2,000. It's Makers Academy. Um, so it's quite good and some of them they do offer discounts based on certain circumstances or they offer um, alternative entry routes which is one that I definitely recommend looking into. Um, some of them might give it to you for free depending on certain circumstances, some of them at a discount um, depending on the path you take. They might contract you to an employer at the end of the boot camp so you've kind of already got your path sorted out. Um, so you might get it for a discount or even free depends on the boot camp. 
Um, I know, fo uh, I think it's uh, Founders and Coders, they do it for free, but their trade-off is you need to dedicate some of your time volunteering for them. So that's kind of how they maintain this um, model of uh, free coding bootcamp. So definitely looking to see what other alternative options there are for entry outside of just paying the straight tuition fee as well. And the final point, which is quite important, are what contractual guarantees does the bootcamp provide? So I know that the bootcamp that I did, if you didn't find a job within six months, they would fully refund you all of your tuition fees, 100% of it refunded. Um, some boot camps, they'll do it maybe after a year. Some boot camps, they'll refund you half the amount. So it's good to look into um, what kind of contractual obligations you have between yourself and the boot camp. So as always, if you found this content useful, then please do like and subscribe, share with anyone you feel it's gonna benefit. Like I said, it took me about a month to find a job after I finished my bootcamp, which was Makers Academy. So if you have any questions on that, then feel free to uh, ask in the comment section below. I'm happy to help you out. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.